Could trust in God really impact your physical and even mental health? What does faith in God have to do with health? Research has shown that spirituality helps to control stress, strengthen the immune system, and protect against heart disease and cancer. Trust and faith in God has been found to improve survival in HIV patients. Beyond these scientifically verifiable benefits, God promises eternal life to those who trust Him, a life of perfect health and freedom from pain, fear, and death. Hello friends, it's Lauren. Today's Health Nugget is dealing with trust in God as it relates to well-being. I've talked to you before in another video on the laws of health. Weimar Institute coined the acronym New Start as an easy way for us to remember these laws. N stands for nutrition, E stands for exercise, W stands for water, S stands for sunlight, T stands for temperance, A stands for air, R stands for rest, and T stands for trust in God who made heaven and earth. Now as we look at these laws of health, this principle T for trust in God is really the glue that holds all of these laws together. It's foundational to a vibrant life for the Christian. Now, why is this? Because we know that stress, worry, and anxiety can eat away at our well-being until we break under the pressure. Many sicknesses manifest themselves as a result of stress. Now, none of us can avoid stress, but God can show us how to properly deal with stress if we seek Him and allow Him to teach us. After all, He knows what it is like to live here in this stressful world. The Bible says Jesus was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Hebrews 4.15 I just heard a true story about a man who had a heart attack at age 43. Wow, so young! He said he was just breaking under the stress of a new job on top of raising a young family, and he had a heart attack while he was in church. The hardest part of the whole experience for him, he said, wasn't the event himself, but the aftermath of the heart attack, the recovery. He had to search his own heart and allow God to work in him his purpose. God brought to this man's remembrance a well-known text from Ephesians 2 verse 10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. This text really hit home for this man. His trust in his Creator brought peace to his heart. So let's look closely for a minute at some of the ways trusting in God can help your health to be better. God desires that we be in health. In Jeremiah 33, 6, God says, Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. The Lord can overrule sicknesses. He extended Hezekiah's life for 15 years. He healed the blind, the lame, and lepers, and many other individuals, a young man's withered hand, a lady's issue of blood, and he gave a crippled man who had never walked before the ability to walk and even leap, a very athletic movement indeed. He even healed entire villages of people. The Bible records all of these to give us a better idea that God is our healer not just physically, but emotionally and spiritually. The Bible also gives us an idea that He wants to be your friend and mine. How do we get to know someone? Well, you talk with them, right? A best friend is someone who you communicate with all the time. This is the same with getting to know God, and that's through prayer and the study of God's Word, the Bible. There's a lot to know about God, but we can start through the Bible. This book is God's disclosure of His character and His love for us. He reveals the true story of the conflict between Himself and Satan and how it is played out through history. It's our go-to source for getting to know God because it is His Word or letter to us. Have you ever written letters to a friend? It's like that. The second way to learn about God is that He sent His Son into the world so that we might have a clearer picture of His personality and character. 
The mission of Christ is enough to melt our hearts because he had to come to redeem us from sin and, and eternal ruin. If he hadn't come as a man and lived a perfect life and died upon the cross of Calvary, then none of us would have hope of a future healthy life, much less eternal life. The death on the cross is the most vivid portrayal of God's love ever seen. Now the third way is through creation, God's creation or nature. We look all around us, God created the beautiful trees, the green grass and the wildlife. Some of my most cherished memories that I have is from being outside in God's handiwork. Do you see how amazing he is when you see a creepy crawly thing, a little worm that can transform into a beautiful butterfly? Do you marvel when you look at the surroundings come alive and new growth each spring? God is the one who commands these things to bloom and grow for our enjoyment and for our happiness. He desires our happiness. The fourth way to trust in God is through the witness of other believers. When God is actively involved in someone's life, it's because the person has allowed him into their heart, their lifestyle, their attitudes. His Holy Spirit is their teacher and guide. Like the moon reflecting the light of the sun, genuine Christians can give you a small glimpse of what he is like. However, the likeness of Christ in them may be somewhat partial or incomplete or even distorted, so it's best to keep looking at the source because we all have from time to time mess ups and we need to continually progress. It's always better to put your whole trust in God versus in humans. The final way is through his providence. He intervenes in our lives. He leads, cares for, and protects us. If you look back over your life, you may be able to recognize some of the times when he has worked to get your attention and tell you that he loves you. I can remember several years ago, I was going through a big, big trial in my life. It was the kind of trial that was always in the back of my mind and something that I wanted quick relief from, even though it hadn't come to pass yet. My sister and I were roommates at the time and one evening, she was in the shower, and I was walking up the stairs nearby the bathroom where she was uh, taking her shower. And I was headed to a room right next door to the bathroom. But before I got there, I just felt impressed to stop and knock on the bathroom door where she was to check on her. She poked her head out from the shower curtain and said, Oh, I'm so glad you walked by. Can you get me my whatever it was, I really don't remember what she was asking for, but she said, I prayed while I was here in the shower that you would come by so I could ask you to get this thing for me because I didn't want to step out of the shower and get the floor all wet. You know, at that moment, I was amazed at what God was doing. <laughs> and then, but I told my sister, I said, well, I hadn't planned on coming in here, but God really impressed me to knock on the door to see if you were okay. I was so encouraged by that small event. It was confirmation to me that the Holy Spirit gives nudges and that I was responding to his impressions, that he was there with me. This small event of God's guidance really encouraged me to have more faith in his timing of things in my life. And my nightly heartburn, I noticed, went away. I had relief in my mind, too. I just had to keep hanging on and trust God through this trial how did I know I was in God's will? Because daily I surrendered to him and asked him uh, to be in his will, that he would lead me and that I wouldn't be of my own accord. And you know what, regarding that particular big trial, he brought me the rest of the way through it. And he helped me and nurtured me in that experience I'll never forget. And I can tell you from this personal experience and all the evidence stacked up in his word that he will always provide grace and strength in the trials of this life. This trust in God helps our health tremendously. A faithful life in God is a happy life indeed. Thank you so much for watching. If you were blessed, you know what to do. Like and feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you again. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.